Parading to the post for the sixth race. Sixth race on tonight's program. Open Pacers with a field of 10, a purse of $12,000, and here are the horses. Number one, Come Atross, is owned by Dean Davis, James Snyder of Worcester, Ohio, trained by Kurt Sugg and driven by Kurt Sugg. <laughs> Number two, Mean Mr. Mustard is owned by James Borchers of Bellbrook, Ohio, trained by William Walters and driven by Eric Ledford. Number three, No Fear of Flying, owned by the Gusty Stable of Rolling Hills, California, trained by Gary Boudon and driven by Mike Lachance. Number four, Ice Snaterian, owned by Fred Robinson of Shepherdsville, Kentucky, Jason Dillinder trains, John Campbell drives. Number five, Dr. Harding, owned by Victor Robertson of Nashville, Tennessee, is trained by Dennis Ecker, driven by Walter Haynes, Jr. Number six, Out of Chance, is owned by H.S. Hoffler and Sons Lumber of Sunbury, North Carolina, trained by Joe Siegman, driven by Jay Cross. Number seven, Storm's Future, is owned by Lee Glotzbeck, Ellie Horvath of Florida, L.K. Holland of Ohio, trained by Barry Armstrong, driven by Tim Curtin. Number eight, it's only paper owned by James Taylor of Troy, Ohio, the uncorked stables of Riverside, Illinois, trained by Sam Rogers, driven by Tony Morgan. Number nine, Such a Hood, owned by Arthur Cortmanche of Piconing, Michigan, is trained by Peter Wren, driven by George Brennan. And completing the field, number 10, Vacationing, is owned by Marcus Ernst of Bloomfield, Michigan, trained and driven by Keith Crawford. That's the field of 10 for the sixth. Win, play, show, exacted, trifecta, odd, even... This field is in motion. And they're off and pacing, and from the outside, heading right out towards the early advantage. There goes out a chance of Storm's future alongside second at challenge. Dr. Harding has dropped in third. From the outside, it's only Paper advancing in fourth, with Mean Mr. Mustard fifth at the inside. Ice Natarian up on the outside is sixth, followed by Comatross at the rail in the seventh position. Then it's another length back, racing in the eighth spot as they continue around the turn. Comes Keith Crawford with vacationing, followed by the traders at the back of the pack. Such a hoot as they hit the first quarter in a very snappy 26 and 2. On up the back stretch they go, and with the lead by a length and a quarter out of chances, Storm's Future right there in the second spot. Continuing to drive up on the outside, it's only paper for Morgan. Followed into contention on the outside in the fourth spot as they continue up the back stretch by Mean Mr. Mustard now. Shuffled back fifth along the inside is Dr. Harding. Then it's another length back to Comatras, who's sixth at the rail, moving on the outside from the seventh spot is vacationing. Followed another length by No Fear of Flying. At the back of the pack, the trader is such a hoot as they reach the half in 55 and one fifth seconds. And out of chances is cut it out here by a length and a half. Storm's Future with the trip in second will need racing room. It's only paper dropping off the pace a bit from third. Moving up at the inside in the fourth spot there comes Mean Mr. Mustard circling three wide. Dr. Harding at the inside back and forth. Moving around that one from the fifth position as they continue on the turn comes Ice Natarian. He'll be followed up in the outer flow by vacationing. Come across looking to get off the rail from sixth. Three quarters on the board in 125 and 2. Out of chances, still the leader. Here comes Storm's Future on the outside, second at challenge. And on the far outside, Mean Mr. Mustard is closing from third. Gaining ground up the inside comes Comatross. Four across the track in mid stretch. Comatross on the inside, gaining a short advantage. Gaining ground on the outside from far back. Here comes Dr. Harding, who's flying. Comatross the leader. Far outside, Dr. Harding. Comatross. Dr. Harding the outside. Too tight to call. Comatross at the rail. Dr. Harding the far outside in a very tight photo. Looks like up for third at the inside may have been such a hoot in 153 and 1. Into the winner's circle, number one, Comatraws, owned by Dean Davis and James Snyder of Worcester, Ohio. Trained by Kurt Sugg, driven to victory by Kurt Sugg. Comatraws, four-year-old base stallion by Nia Tross out of Communicate with the seventh win and 15 starts this season, pacing the mile in 153 and one-fifth seconds. And some big prices here. The exacta 1-5 returns $827.40 and one of the biggest trifectas ever at Hoosier Park. 1-5-9 trifecta, $13,330 even. Again, the 159 try, $13,330 even.